Troy Calhoun has led Air Force to 101 wins in his 14 seasons at the Air Force Academy, the most of any active head coach in the Mountain West. Hi, I'm Jesse Kurtz in the Mountain West Network Studio, here with what you need to know as we count down to kickoff with the Air Force Falcons. Many familiar names return to the Air Force defense this fall after missing the 2020 season, including the Falcons' top tackler from 2019, DeMonte Meeks, 6'5", 280-pound defensive lineman Jordan Jackson, dynamic linebacker Lakota Wills, and big playmaking defensive back Trey Bug. It's a veteran core that is eager to play its first football game in two years. We got to generate the necessary recall and, um, and then to merge and, and mesh with a bunch of new guys too. And does that take four weeks or does it take four months? You know, and uh, hopefully it's a little closer to four weeks, but um, uh, that's why every single day we gotta make sure we do a great job of teaching uh, to solidify and build upon uh, the, the, the qualities, the good things that we're doing. It's big. I think it helps bring culture. We were on that team that had the great defense, and now we're back again. So I think it's going to be good for the culture. There's another a lot of great athletes around us still. You got Chris Herrera, you got Trey Taylor, you got all types of people on our defense. So for us at the core and all those other people around us, I think it's going to be really good defense again. Junior quarterback Hazik Daniels returns after starting six games in 2020, finishing second on the team with 297 yards rushing and leading the team with 433 yards passing. The Falcons are looking forward to seeing the heights Daniels can reach with a full season ahead of him in 2021. He's a great kid. I think I'm so glad he got to play those six games. I think it helped him grow a lot as a as a leader, as a player. I think it was really good for him. Um, he's just a great kid. I've talked to him. I talk to him all the time, actually. And I can really see him growing in our organization and growing as a great football player. He's assertive. He's competitive to no end. Super competitive. And I love to see that in a quarterback. And I think that and him being vocal and having some games under his belt would be really, really good for us because if if he's competitive and he has that quarterback ego. I think we're going to be all right. After missing the 2020 season due to a turnback, 2019 leading tackler DeMonte Meeks is back to anchor the Air Force linebacking corps, which figures to be a position of strength for the Falcons. Meeks, who was named second team All-Mountain West after his junior season, led the team in tackles in seven games, including three with ten or more. We have coaches that kind of influence me having a screw loose like coach rudd is crazy you know in practice we do not play around so just the people around me and competing got me there he's very smart he's a guy who likes to go and watch film uh, hard hitter and he'll tell you he likes he likes hitting people so uh, he likes being around the ball as well and he's very smart air force opens up the season at home against lafayette before paying a visit to Navy on the 20th anniversary of 9-11. Conference play begins at Falcon Stadium when Utah State travels to Colorado Springs. And then on November 6th, the annual Service Academy showdown between Air Force and Army will be played in Arlington, Texas at Globe Life Field, home of the Texas Rangers, in the first ever Lockheed Martin Commander's Classic. It'll mark just the fourth time since 1959 the game we played at a neutral site. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be, there's so many people, especially since the academies is just so uh, diverse, people from all over the country. I think Texas is going to be a great place for everybody's family to be able to come. It's a big stadium, so I think it's going to be a packed house. It's going to be a really fun game. They've made a commitment for our country, you know, and the ideals of our country. Uh, truly what liberties, freedom, uh, you know, justice, but commerce, freedom of capitalism, I mean, all the good stuff that's the United States of America, that's what they've committed to. I'll give you something that probably most Air Force fans aren't thinking about right now. Brandon Lewis and David Cormier, a couple of guys at wide out and slot that you haven't seen much of. You haven't seen Cormier play at all, okay? But he's big, he's like 6'4", he's a big kid, reminds you of Jalen Robinette. Brandon Lewis played a little bit as a freshman. He's a smaller guy, he's a good slot back guy, good speed, good hands. The Air Force hasn't really seen these two guys. 
And I think they could surprise if they have a good camp to get onto the field this fall. Air Force opens up the 2021 season at home on September 4th against Lafayette. From the Mountain West Network Studio, I'm Jesse Kurtz.